Hey everyone, we're coming to you from the US Open here in New York and we are hosting a USTA 12s level one national of some of the best players in the US. We have top players from California, Florida, Boston, Iowa, all these places here representing their states and competing. And what we've noticed is instantly as we're stringing so many of their rackets, we're finding that these young players, 10, 11, et cetera, have rackets far beyond, far heavier than what they need. And rackets do come in five weight classes. You have your lightest weight class, which is about 260 grams unstrung. Typically, racket manufacturers will call this a super light, say from Yonix, or a Team L from Head or a ultralight from Wilson. And then you have your second weight, which is about 280 grams unstrung. Again, it can be about five or 10 grams heavier or lighter. And that is for players 12 to 15 years old. Then you have your standard weight, which is 300 grams, ideal for 15 plus adult players as well. And then you have your heavy weight, weight number four class, which is about 315 grams, 320 grams plus. And we're noticing the players at this tournament are playing with weights three and four, which is just outside of their range. When you have a racket that is too heavy, in the short term, you're gonna notice some improvements. So if you have a young 10 year old player who's striking the ball and hitting it about 50 miles an hour, and you put them in a heavy weight three or four, you're gonna notice that they jump up to 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, and that's that substantial weight giving you more force and more mass into the shot. What you're not gonna see is over prolonged periods of time that that's gonna hurt the shoulder, create injuries, break down the stroke, reduce racket head speed, and so many more negatives that you just don't see short term, but you will see months and years later. So we're here urging you to make sure that as your junior players and your top players are growing up and they're getting physically taller, physically stronger, and learning the game, that you work your way between weights one, two, three, and four and progress your way up. A great analogy is if a player has a size shoe that's a size seven, you might go a little bit bigger for a seven and a half, giving them room to grow, but if they wore a size 11, 12, or 13, it would be so large, it wouldn't make sense it's gonna mess up their running, it's gonna mess up their footwork, it's gonna give them injuries. And although at some point as they grow older, it would make sense when they're younger, you definitely have to size your equipment, whether it be racket shoes and so forth. Now, some people tuning are gonna think that this is just an opinion of us here at Solo Sports, but I urge you to consider that when you look at brands like Wilson, which is designed in Chicago, and they have a team of engineers there developing everything, why do they create all their rackets existing in these same four weight classes where they'll have, let's say, an Ultra, for example, in weight class one as a UL, in weight class two as an L, the standard as an Ultra 100, and they don't have some of the heavier rackets, but sometimes you can get that Ultra Pro, which exists in the fourth weight class. And then you contrast that with Yonix, developed in Japan, that they will have their lightest weight class one as an SL or a Super Light, their mid-weight class, that 280 gram range as an L or a light, and the same thing, their standard racket might be an E-Zone 100 or a V-Core 100, as well as that fourth weight class of that V-Core 95 or even that V-Core Pro or that Percept 97. So all of these different smart engineers and racket developers are finding the, the following the same system no matter what manufacturer and I think there's something really impressive and really true about why they're doing it that way. So hopefully this is a great tip to help you match your equipment to your player by age. If you have any questions as to whether your equipment matches the player or matches your needs and goals, feel free to comment below and we can help guide you as to which weight class makes sense based upon your weight, your height, and so forth. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video as we have new videos coming every week so hit that subscribe button.